guess who's back in the States? It's me. Hello. Uh, I came back a couple days ago and came back to a giant freaking package once again from Ardex. So we are going to be testing out markers yet again. This time they are alcohol markers, which I am really excited about because I really haven't been on like my alcohol marker grind lately, which is really upsetting because I used to be super duper obsessed with them. I <laughs> I remember like, you know, growing up and being just like enamored with the way that like all these fancy artists would like color with like their Copics and just be like, how do they get that? And then of course finding out that Copics are like $7 a marker <laughs> was like earth shattering. I remember my first one that I bought and just being like obsessed with them, but you know, they aren't the kind of thing that I buy very often just because they are expensive, but these bad boys will, I mean, I got them for free, but you know, whatever. Thank you, Artex. However, they are like $60, I think, for the set, which has 66 markers. So that is, you know, you can do the math. That's less than a dollar marker. That is super nice. And I know that they have smaller sets too, um, which again, you know, I'm all about that. I'm all about art supplies that can be accessible for people. And I'm really excited about them. This part's always kind of nerve wracking because I'm like, <laughs> I get one go at this. <laughs> if I mess up this footage, then we don't get the actual unboxing. Okay, so we're gonna be extra careful and unbox this bad boy. I like the little handle, it's really cute. This open. Okay, this is like Christmas, I'm like really excited. <laughs> okay. I think we just take this bad boy off here. Oh my God, look at these. These are really cute. I like how, ooh, oh, I'm really excited to try these out. I really like how all the colors go together. I feel like it's gonna be really fun to do illustrations with these because you know, they're all kind of like a similar palette, but they're very, very different. You know, you look, you get different like shades of these light purples, different shades of greens. So this is exciting. I really like the packaging, so let's take a look at what the actual marker themselves look like. I'm gonna move this back. Okay, so here's what they look like. Go ahead and focus, there we go. I love the little cloud detail up here. So freaking cute. So, so we have a chisel tip and then a brush tip, like most alcohol markers. Here's our brush tip. And here's our chisel tip. Very cute. I am so into this little cute little detail. That's freaking adorable. Okay, okay, cool. So that's that. I think it's time to try out these colors. Okay, because this one is in a specific order, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my own little homemade card. That way I can kind of save the time of going through and matching them all up. So I'm gonna go in order of the box that I got and I'll start this with you guys, but I'll probably speed this up after a couple. Oh, these are like really juicy. Yeah, okay. That, I really like the even color that we have going on there. So that's the 404. Really nice brush tip. It's very like easy to use, easy to control, which I really like on an alcohol marker. One thing I don't like to see is like when they're really, really loose and you don't have a lot of control. Let me try not to make a mess here. Okay, here's my little card of all the things. And I also saved a little bit of space to do some blending at the bottom, which as you can see, they blend really nicely. And I really do just love the selection of colors. They're really cute and I feel like I don't do a lot of pastels. I go for more bright colors, so I am really stoked to try these. And so uh, less uh, explaining, more drawing. <laughs> let's go. So let's just make some room here. Ignore the fact that there's paint all over my thing. This is an art studio, not a museum. <laughs> I really do like drawing things. I used to not like it very much, you know, cause I used to only draw different like people and like animals and things and I was like I don't even that sounds boring you know, just like drawing things and I kind of noticed myself not really being able to 
just freehand a bunch of stuff even though it seemed like it should be easy. So I started practicing it a lot and it's really ended up being just one of my favorite things to do. Kind of the realization that you can sort of break the rules and you can, you know, like this is all janky lines, but it kind of gives the impression of, you know, thin cardboard, which is what I want. Uh, I used to think that if I was drawing things, I had to be like very rigid and very like, you know, exact, but I've had a lot of fun kind of playing around with that and playing around with like the different shapes and the different ways you can exaggerate to give things like weight and give them kind of a physicality that I really like doing. So yeah, I uh, that is <laughs> my speech on, I like drawing stuff, love an object, huge fan. I really love lamps. I love lights. I love lighting. I love the way it changes things. Like in art and also like in real life, there's just something about lights that just I'm so into. I love the Home Depot lighting section. I love like those weird, like, I shouldn't say weird. I don't think it's weird, but um, I love like art exhibits that are like light based um and I, I love like just how much it can like impact the way something feels you know like even just like slight differences in like the tone of a light bulb can make a room feel like homey or like a hospital waiting room we're gonna carry some of this blue over to the bubble wand like, I don't know, I just, purple might be a lot. Purple might be scary for the audience. Um, and I don't want to scare anybody. I don't want things to get too intense on this channel. I mean, I just said I wasn't gonna use purple. I'm a liar. Okay, it's okay. I think what's nice about a set like this is that, you know, I'm over here acting like any of these colors really would mess up the flow too much. Like maybe if I use like, like the really dark pink, it would make things look a little bit crazy, but these colors all really complement each other really nicely. So I don't know what I'm so worried about. Blue camera? Yeah, blue camera. It's a marble, you know, like those little, like the cool marbles that have like the little swoop in the middle. I'm all about that. I'm literally all about that. I used to really only use the brush tips of markers, but I'm kind of becoming a chisel tip girl. Controversial as it may be, I say as I start to use the brush tip. I can do both. That's the point. Okay. I think the rubber duck is gonna be blushing. It's, it's just happening. I don't know what to tell you. Haters will say the rubber duck isn't blushing, but they're wrong. He so is. I'm just gonna move on to doing some shading. Add a little 
little bit more depth to these guys. Shading with purple is just never a miss. And here I was, being such a hater at the beginning. Oh, I feel like I should show you guys this. Um, <laughs> I went to Flying Tiger for the first time and I got a banana that holds my pens. So there's that. <laughs> I had it at this bench. We were having just like a snack at a park and a guy came up to where we were and got like really, really close to where we were sitting. And he just looks right at, he doesn't look at me. He looks right at the, um, the pencil case and just goes, banana. And then just kept walking. Like, so true. He wasn't wrong, you know, like, fair. I can't really argue with what he said. Right, I think that is a wrap on that one. And we can move on to my other drawing set. So this is just gonna go over here for now. And I'm gonna do, see, I'm tempted to leave this one as it is for now. It's kind of more of like a personal piece anyways. <laughs> I mean, it's just pictures of hawks, but still. We're gonna do these guys. We saw a lot, and I mean a lot, of old churches there. Um, I've always wanted to like wrap my brain around stained glass windows as far as drawing them goes, and I had never really been able to, but having so much time to actually be in some of these churches and study them was just so, so helpful. I have a story that contains a lot of churches and a lot of like very grand architecture, but I've always felt kind of held back because I I don't know how to draw that stuff. Are you kidding me? It's been really fun to kind of break down those shapes and like the way that they all come together in a way that I'm like, oh wait, I, I get that now. Drawing from life is crazy. Everyone's always like, draw from life. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then you do and you're just like, oh my God, I understand things now. Awesome. <laughs> it's crazy how that works. Hmm. Now I feel like I want to keep this palette simple. I think like just warm colors and then it's gonna be backlit and then maybe like, I need a thumbnail for this maybe. One thing about me is I will be drawing things backlit. I was nerding out about lighting earlier. It's one of those things. I just, I love how you can make things feel so dramatic with just a couple. Is that too red? Well, it's on there now, so. Oh, I think this is a perfect opportunity to try our colorless blender. Oh yeah, that's nice. These are just like, like it says, there's no color in it and it blends things out and they're awesome. hesitating to make this darker, but I think it will look cool and I'm gonna trust my gut. do the hardest thing in the world for me and I'm not gonna overwork this I like the way it looks right now I think maybe I could add okay <laughs> this could be me just screwing up like live on camera but um around this. 
Whoa, what, what, who is that? That must have been watercolor. It's okay, she can, she can stay there. We can, we can keep going. We can take her and move her. What did I just say? I said, this could be a mistake. But it's okay, because we can work with it, and honestly, I do like the contrast. I should call it quits for now. But I don't want to. That is our stained glass angel. And we are going to move on to the pigeon and the cow. So the cow and pigeon are gonna be controversial for me because I feel like we can get really crazy and fun with this. Like, you know, so we're looking at these colors and I feel like an obvious choice would be pink cow, you know, strawberry cow. I feel like it's very, it's very hip with the times. Um, it's very fresh, very now, but also like hear me out. What about green cow? What about like light, like chartreuse cow with like the green spots? Is that crazy of me? Can I say that? Can I be so bold? And then I know the pigeon we're just gonna go crazy like with like a purpley base and then like the green and purple and blue situation just because I think that we have the perfect colors for a perfect pigeon. This guy, however, we're doing it again, we're thumbnailing. She's crazy. She's crazy, but like, do you see what I mean? Like, there's like potential there. I think I gotta go with the green cow. I think I just follow my heart. So we'll do a little bit of shading with this. I like how the chisel tip shades. I feel like you get that really fun, chunky, kind of like painterly almost look with the chisel tip and you can really like make things pop, which I think is very fun. pink nose or like greenish blue nose? Hmm. Greenish blue nose. Good thinking. Thank you guys. Hmm. I'm thinking like blue eyes? Or we could do purple because purple kind of contrasts. But then I feel like she might start looking a little bit scary. I think blue. Yeah. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that same blue that we did the eyes with to shade the green. That way your eye feels happy when it looks at it and goes, oh my gosh, Mabel. <laughs> she has so much to say all the time. She like wails as if she has just never in her life been given attention, even though I dote on that animal. Okay, and you see how this happens and you're like, oh no, that looks bad. Don't even worry about it. We can just color this blender and she's gonna calm down. And so will you. <laughs> that sounded so mean. <laughs> So will we all, because there's really, there's no crisis. I don't mean like you need to calm down. I'm just saying we can all rest easy, knowing the crisis is not happening.
All right, let's move on to the pigeon. I'm sipping the purple, I'm keeping the blue, and then these light greens. Everybody else go home. And then I think I need these guys. Pigeons have little pink feet. Okay, I forget about the little pink feet. Dear God, it'd be horrible. I'm gonna start with those actually because they make me happy. I love a pigeon. What can I say? I love a pigeon. I kind of think that these bad boys are like done. And just a little bit over here. Yeah, I am like very happy with how these came out. Honestly, I think I might make this into a sticker sheet. If you guys want stickers of these? let me know and i can make that happen i've been kind of itching to get back on that wow yeah i have to say super super happy with these markers they are really good quality they just won't focus <laughs> really really good quality especially for the price um it's just very very fun like if you take a look at just like the color and cover super nicely the colors go together so well packaged it beautifully just very, very fun to use. I I was gonna um, do some coloring on this, but I think I'm just, I'm very happy with how these came out. Yeah, these, um, you could say that uh, they get my seal of approval. Yup, anyways, that's the video. <laughs> they will be linked in the description. Um, go ahead and take a look if you're interested. Um, other things, I have commissions open, I always do. If you want to check those out on my Ko-Fi, absolutely feel free to. Or if you just want to leave me a tip because you think I'm a silly little guy, I would love it. Uh, other than that, I have some things that I am working on very hard, but I'm excited to show you guys. But that is all for another day. For now, thank you so much for watching and being here, and I hope that you take care. Goodbye.